please raise your right hand when they say, when I say, I state your name. Okay. Honey. Honey. Dale, Dale Vince Beaver. Beaver. Dale Vince Beaver. Hayomi. Hayomi. Ponoyichi. Ponoyichi. Tinfotida. Tinfotida. Magedos. Magedos. Mr. Muskogi. Mr. Muskogi. Ida Wogi. Ida Wogi. In Miko. In Miko. Sahokola. Sahokola. In Wagida. In Wagida. Mohen Musin. Mohen Musin. Savastatis. Savastatis. Momen. Momen. Mr. Muskogi. Mr. Muskogi. Idawa. Idawa. In Mahaga. In Mahaga. In Baraga. In Madaga. Anjitida. Anjitida. Angitida. Angitida. O Mogusin. O Mogusin. Ajayi Jai. Ajayi Jai. Congratulations. Bro. You know, uh, uh, Governor Anatub, you always say that the uh, Chickasaw Nation has the most dynamic uh, women in the Chickasaw Nation, but I, I politely beg to differ. If you look around, we are a pretty good bunch. Uh, yes, yes. But uh, good afternoon. I just want to thank everybody for being here uh, this afternoon, taking time out of your day to come celebrate with us. You know, it's... Uh, I think I speak for, uh, for a lot of us when I say, uh, finally we're here, right? Woo! You know, I mean, uh, you know, it's, it, it, that was one wild and crazy ride to get here, you know. Uh, uh, it's okay to laugh about it. The election's over. We're, you know, we're sworn in, so you can laugh. <laughs> you can't kick me out now, so uh, it's all right. <laughs> so, uh, so, you know, I just, I just want to start by, by giving, uh, you know, all glory to my God, my, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, so... Um, you know, without him, you know, I would not be standing here, and that's a fact. That, that is a fact. Um, next, I want to acknowledge my family. Uh, you know, I got, a, I got a big family, so y'all get comfortable, all right? Uh, you know, my, my wife, uh, she was up here. Uh, Rhonda, you know, you know, God gives you people in your life that, 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 uh, that, that knows your journey, you know, and, and God gave me the perfect wife for my journey. And it's not even my journey, it's our journey. And uh, so, so I, I just have the best wife in the world. Um, And I want to thank my kids, uh, Isaiah, uh, Olivia, and Daddy. Uh, I'd like to thank my mom. And sorry, y'all don't have to clap every time I cry. We'll be up forever. So, uh, but uh, I'd like to thank my brothers, uh, and I don't know if my niece Kennedy is here, um, but uh, you know, they're, those are, that's my family and my, my family. And uh, many of you know that uh, my sister passed away. You know, she passed away uh, last April. And, uh, you know, she actually worked here at River Spirit. You know, she worked here for a long time and, uh, and uh, you know, she loved working here and she loved her coworkers and, uh, and uh, she was still, still alive, you know. I, I, don't know if she's, I don't know if she'd be at my inauguration but she, hate to, she hated taking off work, you know. So, um, but, uh, but, you know, I know she, she's in here in my heart, you know, with, with my dad. Um, I have numerous, if you look over there, that's my family over there. I have numerous uh, aunts, uncles, uh, cousins, uh, my in-laws are here. Um, you know, I'm not going to name each one. Um, I know they want me to, but I'm not going to. I'll forget somebody. They'll get out Chewbacca at me, and they won't vote for me next time. You know, so I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm smarter than that. I'm not going to risk it. But uh, uh, you know, I do want to uh, just uh, recognize uh, you know, Esther and Talana. They're my uh, my sister-in-laws. Y'all stand up. They don't want to stand up, but, uh, but I just want to thank you for being there. Um, uh, you might have not known it, but it meant a lot. 
um, just for being so supportive and, uh, and just for being good sisters. Thank you. And, uh, you know, I couldn't forget my church families. I got, uh, I say families, plural. I, I have a lot of church families. And, uh, and uh, I had people praying for us uh, around the world. And, uh, and uh, you know, what can I say? You know, there's power in prayer. So I just want to thank my church families also. And to my friends and supporters, um, you know, I'm just so overwhelmed and, and humbled right now. Um, it's, it's, unbelie- it's unbelievable how humbled I am right now. Um, I, don't, I don't know what else to say, but just uh, thank you and I love you. For, for everybody that ha- has sent a kind word, that just uh, gave me a handshake, um, it just truly meant a lot, so I appreciate that. Um, you know, when I decided to run for office, uh, that was back in November of 2018, um, you know, little did I know the journey that was ahead for me and my family. Um, I had no idea what was in store for us. Um, but you know, but like any journey, sometimes we focus more on the destination itself than the journey. And uh, when you slow down and, and you stop to enjoy uh, the opportunities that God puts before you, um, you're going to be blessed. You are, but you have to slow down and, and stop and enjoy those opportunities though. Um, you know, I, I, I'm sure there's uh, some people out there that might have complained about having to go to another forum. Uh, you know, I, I was one of them. Uh, I'm sure there might have been somebody out there that complained that we have to go walk in another parade. It's 95 degrees outside, and I was one of them. You know, but, but those are the opportunities that God gives us. You know? uh, those are opportunities to meet our people. And uh, you know, those are opportunities that we can take to talk with one another, opportunities to interact with one another, and to have fellowship with one another. Um, so whether you, you win or lose, you know, the opportunities to meet our people is awesome. It's awesome. And, uh, and to me, that's my blessing. That is a blessing to me. And, uh, and I love it. I, I truly love it. Um, I love our nation and I love our people. I just truly love it. And so when you think about the history of our people and what we went through, you know, it would be easy. It would just, it'd be so easy for us to make excuses, to make excuses for failure. Oh, this happened to us. This happened to us. We don't make excuses around here. There's no excuses. Um, that's not who we are as Muscogee people. We do not make excuses. The future of this nation lies in the foundation that our forefathers built. They didn't make excuses. There is no time for excuses. From the Okmogee Mounds in Georgia to the Okmogee Mound in Okmogee, Oklahoma, we don't make excuses. We not only survived, but we are thriving. Look around you. Just look around you in this, in this magnificent building that we, have, that we have built. We've come a long way since the bingo halls. We have, we've come a long way. Each generation of Muscogee, pe- of Muscogee people have built a layer of our foundation. Each one of you have built a layer for our, for our foundation, a layer of resiliency, a layer of autonomy, a layer of sovereignty. Each one of us has, has, has contributed to that layer. So now that responsibility though lies with us. It lies with us. What are we going to do today to strengthen the future of our nation? That's our responsibility. What are we doing today? Not tomorrow, but today. I believe it starts with protecting our culture. I truly do. Protecting who we are as Muscogee people. We have to protect that. Protecting our language, protecting our faith, and protecting our families. That's what's important to me. That's what we have to protect. We have to start investing in more in who we are. Invest back into ourselves. I mean, this is a beautiful first class resort. It is. It's a beautiful first class resort. But this resort doesn't define who we are. It doesn't define us. The government, the federal government, doesn't define who we are. The state doesn't define who we are. As a sovereign nation, we define who we are. And that is non-negotiable, non-negotiable. And believe me, Chief Hill and I, we're going to protect that at all costs. At all costs, we have to protect that. To our employees, I want to thank you for your time and dedication to the nation. I have worked side by side with many of you. I probably even shared a pot of coffee with a lot of you. We have heard your concerns. Chief Hill and I have already been out and about with the employees. We've heard your concerns. 
We've heard your ideas, ideas on, on how we can be better, ideas on how we can be more efficient, ideas on how we can provide a better service, and they're duly noted. They didn't go in one way and out the other. They are duly noted. But now it's time to go do it. We have to go do it. We're not going to settle for mediocrity. We're not. We can and will be better. So in closing, let us never forget where we came from. Let, let us never forget the trials and tribulations that our forefathers endured. But most importantly, let us, let us never forget the responsibility we have today for the future of the nation. We have to start laying that foundation, strengthening that foundation for our future. So I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for electing me your second chief. I'm so excited for this administration. I really am. I'm so excited. But I'm ready to get to work, and I hope you are too. God bless you. Widow. Now, Supreme Court Justice Miko Thompson will swear in our Principal Chief, David Hill. My mouth is dry. Raise your right hand when I say hi. State your name. Honey. Honey, David Hill. Honey, you me. Honey, you want me. Puna Yikti. Puna Yikti. Yikti. Ten for Chida. Ten for Chida. Magedos. Magedos. Isti Muskogi. Isti Muskogi. Ida Wogi. Ida Wogi. In Miko. In Miko. In Wagida. In Wagida. Mahin Wuzen. Mahin Wuzen. Savastagis. Savastagi. Moment. Moment. Stimaskogi. Stimaskogi. Idawa. Idawa. Imahava. Imahaga. Imbarava. Imbodaga. Anjiksida. Anjiksida. Angisida. Angisida. O Mogusan. O Mogusan. Ajahi Jatis. Ajahi Jahis. Congratulations. I guess he thinks I'm pretty short. <laughs> not that short, not near as tall as him. I was looking at, uh, listening to second speak, uh, second chief. I thought, man, he's read some of my notes. <laughs> um, Muskogee Creek citizens, second chief Del Beaver, former principal chiefs, other tribal leaders, Mikos church leaders, governmental leaders, and esteemed friends of the Muscogee Creek Nation, we welcome you and thank you for joining us. It's an honor for me to stand here before you. Kind of like Dale, usually I'm the emotional one. He's always telling me. But, uh, <clears throat> before I give my formal comments, I would like to take the opportunity to share my uh, gratitude in our creator and to my family, my beautiful wife, Monica, my mom, Joanne, my, grand, my kids and my grandkids, and the rest of my family. For all the love, their love and their support during this time. Thank you for your sacrifices in helping me to be able to stand up here today. But also thank you for your sacrifice you'll make during the next four years. I would also like to take a moment to thank our Muscogee Creek veterans and the audience today. Your, brave, your bravery, dedication, and admiral, and we are forever in your debts. I would like to have all the Muscogee Creek veterans please stand, including the Light Horse. 
Thank you. And if you are a veteran, I'd like to see all veterans stand up, please. Thank you. But most importantly, I recognize citizens who confirm our sovereignty by exercising your rights to vote. All Muscogee Creek citizens, please stand. All Muscogee Creek citizens, please stand. Thank you. To each and every one of you, I offer my sincere thank you. As uh, Second Chief had mentioned, you know, I just want to do this one time. I don't want to go three, but he stole that line from me. I am truly grateful to serve you as your principal chief during such a pitiful time in the history of our nation. As we come together to inaugurate our tribal leaders, and I stand here today on this beautiful resort built by our nation, built for our citizens, and built on our historic land. As I uh, <coughs> reminded that we are still here, Muscogee people are still here. Our ancestors survived the world's worst act in the country's history. Our forced removal, our ancestors survived broken promises, broken treaties, and broken intent to erase our Muscogee people from history. Yet your ancestors persevered despite the attempted dissolution of our tribal government. Our ancestors fought to bring us to the place of progress where we exist today. Our ancestors planted deep roots with seeds sowed by their love and their, <clears throat> and their descendants, we carry on new branches. We, the Muscogee Nation, are the outcome of the strength and, that, and the resiliency of those who came before us. Just as our ancestors brought us sacred fire from our homelands and passed it on to the next generation, today our former leaders passed that fire unto us. We have many faith. <clears throat> sorry, Get another drink. I probably drunk two gallons earlier. But. We have many issues facing our nation today, paramount issues that questions our sovereignty as a government and question our sovereign rights to our land and that question our sovereign rights to build successful businesses that will financially support our own descendants. I am here to tell you we will use strong roots planted and the fire born unto us and to stand the battles facing our nation. The Muscogee Creek Nation will remain resolute, stand firm against attempt, attempts to weaken our nation. Whether it's at the state capitol or before the U.S. Supreme Court in Washington, D.C., I join the unified voice of our fellow tribal leaders and legal stance on the automatic renewal of the compact. <laughs> While it is disheartening that the state of Oklahoma seeks to repeat history and break promises to our people, we will continue to honor our commitment, promises made to our citizens, promises made to our employees, promise, promises made to businesses that support us and promises made to the state of Oklahoma. As a nation, we have new, uh, nurtured what was given to us by our creators and our ancestors. In today's modern world, our resiliency continues. We have worked hard to create strong network infra and infrastructures and to create businesses with 
which sustain modern life. A modern life that builds multi-million dollar hospitals, roads, bridges, and tourist destinations. A modern life that boosts nearly 8,700 jobs supported by our nation. A modern life led by a nation with a statewide impact of more than $800 million and a total nationwide of economic impact of $1.4 billion. This, <laughs> this has been accomplished together by the members of the National Council, current and previous, and the principal chiefs who precede me, including Chief Cox, Chief Beaver, Chief Five, Chief Ellis, Chief Tiger, and Chief Floyd. Thank you for your services. Also on the strong foundation on which I now stand. Thank you. In the coming weeks, months, and years, I plan to expand on the very foundation and further build on the nation to leave a great legacy to our future generation. As I, as I have said before, Building trust is my first goal to strengthen our nation. I will tirelessly work to improve our tribal services by listening to the citizens and the employees. And then together we'll create strategies to implement those goals. As your chief, I give you my word that I will work every day to make you proud you supported me. I will bring you my years of experience and passion for our nation to work for the best interests of all Muscogee people. We will excel in customer service and remind ourselves why we serve the nation. For our citizens who are the heartbeat of the nation and the employees who are the backbone of the government, we will set standards of excellence, excellence of transparency, communication, and most importantly, strong ethics. I truly want to leave a legacy for which all of you can be proud. You are Muscogee Creek. You have a special blood that runs through your vein. You deserve the best. You deserve the best, and I will work acti actively to work and earn your trust. In return, I ask for your prayers and your support. During the next four years, to make sure we accomplish a better Muscogee Creek Nation. In closing, I want to say that this is very iconic that this year is 2020. As 2020 represents a perfect vision. And to add, uh, and to a quote, a favorite proverb, where there is no vision, the people will perish. I am a person who believes in the vision, just like our ancestors before us had a vision. It is our responsibility to keep that vision alive so we never perish. In recognition of those leaders who came before me, I would like to recognize our former chiefs who had a vision for our nation and work tirelessly to service our citizens. Please help me honor the following. Chief Cox, I think, uh, representing today is his daughter, Billy Sterner. Is she present? Also, Chief Beaver, represented by his wife, Marion Beaver, if Jake can come up to the stage. Chief Ellis, Chief Five, Chief Tiger and Chief Floyd, please come up to the stage. As a National Council representative, I had the opportunity to work with these gentlemen up here. Um, the first time I uh, announced that I was going to run, Miss uh, Miss Beaver uh, told her, and I think she was trying to talk me out of it because I knew she had what headache that it was, or concern and prayers that she had for her husband. Like to, uh, Kathy. like to represent an award for Chief Cox.
Chief Beaver. I think it's only appropriate now to let uh, Second Chief present the award. Chief Five. Chief Ellis. Chief Tiger. Chief Floyd. I think he took his early retirement. I want to thank these uh, former chiefs who uh, set a strong foundation. They did a lot of work. Thank you. It is my hope that the Muscogee Creek Nation will see a level of unity, strength for our people, humility and forgiveness for any past misgiving and for the love for all people. As I had mentioned in my previous speech that if I would have to go to, regardless of where if it's state level or Washington, D.C., I have backup behind me. Yeah. May the great one guide our leadership and may he continue to bless our great Muscogee Creek Nation. Mano, and Mano to you all for coming today in this historic celebration of our sovereign Muscogee Creek Nation. Thank you, Mano.